Oh, hello there. How are you? You've caught me in the middle of rigging my next run in hard mode Skull the Hero Slayer. In all seriousness, no, this is really awesome being able to just start with whatever I want. Now, last run, I started with uh, dominantly uh, magical stuff. I, I wasn't sure which direction I was going to go in, but this time around, I'm going to start with the sword and the insignia. Now that we can kind of select our loadout, I think getting the insignia at the beginning for some extra money gain and having a car lane item to pair with it is just incredibly useful. You can also even select uh, death. You can get little shady boy to start on an Oberon run if that's what you were going to do. This is really, really, really convenient and really powerful as a way to start a run. Now, I'm not going to make any promises though because the way that I want to do this is try and make consistency king. I need to be able to go into a run and get exactly what I need to make a run as strong as possible with as much consistency as I possibly can get. Now, I'm on difficulty one. This is my very next run after doing... Whoa. After doing uh, the, the very first initial run yesterday. So I'm going to try and do several nice little things being... Yeah, that's not very difficult to avoid now that I know what you do, sir. I can even mess up and still get away with it. Give me that 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 upgrade. I, I forget what that stuff's even called. Whoa, this is a rough one. Whoa, that's a spot and a half. Thankfully. Oh, these cute little little birds in this in this tree boy. Luckily, he's down. Ooh, Water Skull with Tornado? Nah, I'll let that be destroyed for the fragments. Moving right along, moving right along. Ooh, this room. Um, like I'm trying to say, I, I want consistency. And that to me, consistency to me, means that I can uh, build myself the way that I tell you guys to build yourselves all the time when you're trying to become accustomed with Skull in the very beginning. Did you really land on the platform, sir? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to die. It is rude, I understand. The swap was able to protect me with the shielding. Wonderful. So I'm looking for things like warrior's pauldrons, uh, dark priest robe, uh, priestess's staff, or priest's staff. Getting bopped for a lot of damage here by people don't want to. Special new enemies being annoying fellas die. Oh good, it doesn't actually land if you kill them in time. That is good news. Good to know. Yep, avoid that. Sorry, I was just... I was stopping to pause for a minute. I saw Big Boy up here and I thought to myself, wait, can Big Boy up here actually, like, threaten me in any way? Thankfully not. Thorny boots, Kalein armor. You know what? I'm taking the armor. I'm taking the armor. We get more money this way from the Kalein insignia and it's just good to have defense. Now, Clown, I am going to swap out little Skull Boy because this is 10 potential fragments I could either keep and go with Clown, which actually might be the way I go in this run, to be honest. He does do dominantly physical damage, but he can work either way. He is a good hybrid skull. I should do this. I could even buy the Steel Golem Fist, and then when I'm done with it, I can get rid of it and get some extra max life. Very handy. Um, what I might do first is do a quick reroll and see what... Oh, here we go. Some heavy magic hitter items right here. There's really big magic boosts. Um, to be honest, like I just said, he can go either way. He can go magic, he can go physical. Magic Clown is real. It it doesn't sound like it, but it is real because his mark activates a magical effect. It's stupid, I know, but it's it's very real. So if I get rid of the armor and I keep the sword and I keep the insignia, we can afford to get this as well. So now we have some pretty strong magic boost going on. I'm going to ignore the quintessence for now. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. So what does Big Hammer Boy give? I don't think I've seen what what Big Hammer Bro does with his special effect. And I still don't see what he's meant to be doing. I'm kind of... I'm delaying. I want to see. Sir? Is it not doing anything just yet? Hello? Hello? I guess it's not doing anything for her just yet. Okay, cool. Die then. Including you. Stab. <laughs> that little poke in the chest. Just, ah, uh, down he goes. Uh, Kobold. Very, very handy if I want to get some 
big cache, but I don't know if I'm going to be... Well, you know what? Five fragments here versus Kobold. I'm going to take it. If I get rid of it later, I get five max life. So there's no real negatives. I'm also going to be delaying upgrading my skull immediately just so I can wait until I'm 100% I'm sure I've got what I want. No, I need to boing on your head. So many stinky clouds over here. All right, we finally got a, a node to spawn. Hit him with the kobold. What's the cooldown of my kobold looking like? Yeah, it's pretty good. Kobold? Ah, it's fine. Wait. Oh, it's this room. Oh, I just realized what room we're in. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I, I only just realized. Yeah, it's this, this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Didn't kill with it. Makes me sad. I'm going to end up taking a lot more damage here. I can feel it. I can feel... Oh, that dude, Pike. What a, what a, what a lad. You see that charge? What a lad. Ah, oh, I can get my armor back, which means I get more money again. Um, cash versus... I'm going to take a skull room. I'm going to take a skull room. And continue... Boing. Sexy. Very sexy. No. Die. <laughs> no! Holy crap, dude! He is not playing around. I'm so glad the doggo doesn't actually die. I'm so glad they're not actually killing the doggo. Warrior, not for this run, not right now. I'm preferably... Aha! Here it is. Warrior's pauldrons. God tier item. God tier item. We need this. I'm, I'm going to try and find those... Like I said, I'm gunning for those defensive items. We're going to try and prove a point and see if the old way of telling you guys to just take uh, the strong defensive kit is going to continue to prove valuable in hard mode. Difficulty scaling Uno. And in the meantime, Kobold is paying for itself, giving us this big boost of cash. We love our Kobold. We need to tell our Kobold we love it all the time because otherwise it might just stop giving me good stuff. Yep. I love that these guys are relatively easy to handle. You just, you get up there and you get behind them. And what are they going to do? What are they going to do about it, huh? Nothing. And these guys died nice and easy too. Yep, kobold it. Give me the money. Give me the money. Fantastic quintessence to get in the early game. Lots of cash. Ooh, Hand of Glory. Hand of Glory, I feel like, has the potential to become insanely powerful in runs like this now because we can get more max life boost with the contestants effect honestly might be worth ditching our magical items and going in on a physical build just because we found hand of glory i'm gonna take it for now we're at 15 in hand of glory now remember that's what is it four percent per 10 max life that's a big boost that we're seeing already very big boost can i I was going to say, can I kobold you for the kill? That'd be great, but I didn't get any uh, any cash for it. Does that ball make it over here? It does make it over here. That's some good bounce on that. Stop that. However, it does fall down afterwards. Yep. Oh my god, look at all the, oh, the ball's still going. More dudes, more dudes. Oh, that's mean. That's mean, sir. How'd that miss? How'd that miss? I don't even know how that missed. All right, we're done with area one. I need to find... I mean, I could go with Clown. I could go with something like Berserker and Predator and all the big boys for physical. I could even just go with Pike. We have options if I want to do a physical build. We've already got some pretty decent stuff. I know there's a lot of Clown enthusiasts out there that are going to be screaming at me to just keep the build the way that it is, um, in all honesty, because uh, Clown does... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, he, he throws rocks out now? I never got to see the hand swipe move last time. I see. That's a little bit mean, isn't it? That's a little bit mean. I get it. I get it. I'm down with it. I'm hip. Already forgetting about the new... Yiggy slam. 
but it's okay. Oh, I didn't save. That's right. The I forgot again. I forgot again. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I was sitting here thinking to myself as he's doing it. Does he do anything special with the slam attack? I don't remember if he does anything with the slam attack. Does he? Does he? He does. The answer is he does. He do. And he did. Stone mask. Very good. Giant's axe. Big damage. Glacier breaker. No, thank you. Or max life. So uh, my problem here is I could start funneling max life to try and boost the hand of glory. But that's effectively 4% physical, right? 4% physical right here is, is nothing for me at the moment, whereas Giant's Axe is going to give me a big boost. Or I could take the Stone Mask, get two stacks in treasure, and start pushing money gain. Hmm. I have a rare skull, so that's 30% more already. The Giant's Axe is only a rare quality item. Stone Mask is considered unique. I should take the Mask first, and we'll start getting some cash that we can properly, like settle in and finalize our build later. Now, I've been looking forward to this, the Dark Powers, because I want to mess with the Dark Powers a little bit differently. Cooldown speed increases by 120% and skill damage dealt to enemies decreased by 15%. I feel like aging, I feel like this is actually really good, especially if we do decide to go with something like um, Pike, because Pike's abilities that I want to get are the ones that don't actually do damage themselves. They just buff him to be able to dash around a lot. So his skills not doing damage is irrelevant because I don't want him to do skill damage. Uh, supernatural, essence cooldown speed decreased by 80% and damage dealt to enemies is amplified by 40% for 10 seconds. You can't damage enemies using essences. So quintessences. So this is specifically for things like troll and slime and uh, uh, things like that, utility ones. So if I can't do damage with my quints anymore, then my kobold goes out the window because I need it to kill people. But very, very handy for, like, even Medusa. If you could use Medusa's effect to stun people on an 80% increased cooldown speed. I'm curious how this affects Balrog, because if you transform into Balrog, does that mean you can't do damage while in that form? Or does it just mean, because that's a transformation effect, you become a different skull called Balrog during it. Very interesting. I'm tempted to get aging, but I know if I do take it, I'm locked into Pike, so I might take a look at... Where's I think Kingslayer is probably arguably the safest bet to take at any given point because this thing is just so incredibly good as a as a power scaler. Other than that, I could save and go for counterattack. I want more defense. I want to try and get defense. While the shield is active, skill cooldown speed. Hang on, where's the ones that max life is increased? I should take Super Baby for the hand, to be honest, shouldn't I? I really should get Super Baby going for that, that hand increase. Um, skill damage to enemies, leave a mark. No, where is it? Hard shell. Gain shield upon entering a map. So up to 25 shield. Not bad. Not bad. Achievement is also still good. Uh, I shouldn't linger too much on this. Kingslayer. I know I want Kingslayer at some point, but I think first I take one point in Super Baby. Because I know either way. No, 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 no. No, I'm trying to hit start. Thank you. I know either way we're going to be keeping this hand. I want to try and make Hand of Glory a great thing, which means I need Heart of the Ascetic. Finally. Yay. That's right. We're going to try and get Heart of the Ascetic. And I need to get lots of max life in general. Oh my god, sons. I'm glad to see some things have remained the same. There's just even more of them now. <laughs> oh gods. That's going to hit me if I stand there, isn't it? Like his actual hammer swing will hit me. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can you turn into... Money for me? No? Fine. Fine. It's okay. Oh, dear. I will keep throwing kobolds until it stops working. Uh, no. Don't need that. I need fragments, please. That's a big charger, boy. Damn. It's an ensemble of spears. Jesus. They're turning around so quickly. Okay, 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 okay. You want to play that way? We'll play that way. I can do that too. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I walked into the judgment. Oh, you're a judgment one. Right, right, right. See, now that you're isolated... 
you aren't a problem to me, except I keep getting hit by your stupid judgment lightning. Now, big man fell down, didn't he? Yeah, big man fell down. Little dude down here too? Didn't see you, son. Did he just try and say something in Korean to me, sir? You being rude in Korean? Don't do that. I want to destroy... Oh, dear. I want to destroy that totem real quick. Sir? Become more money for me. Ah, oh, if you'd become a treasure chest and a gold vein, that would have been great. No. Damn it, dude. Cobalt's range every single time. It's acting up. No! Bouncy pad. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. I got to get some healing back into me. That room uh, destroyed me. Hmm, werewolf is really nice, but I'd rather not take a werewolf from just yet. I did one very recently, and I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to just jump into it again. Now, if I can, I might wait and save some money to get some more max life through Lie Weasel. Hmm. Nothing I really want there. Reroll it out. Oh, here we go. So wait, Solar Sword and the Ring together? You're just giving me? You're just giving it to me? Blessed. Blessed. Fulgent Dawn from the start. Is this telling me to do a hybrid run? A hybrid run, I don't know if I really want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm kind of trying to gear myself towards more physical, to be honest. Just so I have better options. Oh, here we go. Okay, Assassin Dagger for the crit chance would be fantastic for our clown if we decide to go the clown route. There's also Broken Dagger, which is not bad, but... I'd rather not jump into it straight away. I'm, I'm thinking Assassin Dagger because it, it, it does so much for Clown. It, it's a lot. If I do this, I'm kind of locking myself in. So I might do this. And uh, whole bottom row stays for now. This stays for now. If I want to go mostly physical, I should start getting rid of the magic. So I might get rid of Ceremonial Dagger. Yeah, I think I'm going to go the physical Clown route. Uh, to all of you Magic Clown enthusiasts, Magic Clown enjoyers, I'm sorry. Not really, but still. I could destroy this and get the money to buy Lay Weasel just to sell it again, but that's kind of that's a lot just to just to get like like effectively four percent more physical damage. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna just keep trying to get uh, the super baby perk instead, and we'll uh, we'll worry about all of that later. Wow, Fulgent Dawn actually killed that man. Damn, there's a lot of dudes here. Thank you, Pike. It's your time to shine, my guy. Your time to shine. Die. Die. Thank you. Okay, moving through. Money room. I'm okay with this. Ooh. Dinner time. Shooter. <laughs> I like it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's this room. Oh, it's become a, a complete made, f like, fiesta in here. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to, uh... Didn't mean to, uh, insinuate that it was a fiesta just because it was all maids. The butlers are in here too, okay? There is a butler in here. Okay, Big Man is still doing his thing. Still no idea what Big Man's thing even does. Wait, she's not immediately running anymore. Oh, he's dropping... Oh, he drops stuff from the sky. I see. I see. I understand. He's dropping uh, nasty nasties from on high. I need to... Adam? Adam? Okay, we stopped it. The sound effect of the attack being stopped is no longer upon us. It doesn't do it anymore. I just got pushed back into the rocks. Thank you, lady. Very cool. Thank you, Fulgent Dawn. There's a lot of traps over there. Become money? Okay, don't. Uh, give me your money then. Okay, don't. Ooh, Priest's Veil. The Veil is kind of nice, I'm not going to lie. I might take the Veil and replace the basic stuff because I'm going to... The quicker I can just start getting away from the Kylaian stuff and get away from magic, the better. This is just universally a great item. It does a lot for us. I'm taking it. Die. 
I like how he just sits there waiting for the inevitable. Ooh, Succubus. Succubus won't do big damage for us, but it does have incredible utility. But, but I should be focusing on getting my fragments up so that I can get Clown upgraded first. I'll worry about that stuff later. Later down the road, once Clown is, is kind of, you know, established, I can worry about Quintessence upgrading. All right, um, we are unique Clown Boy. We got the Clown Surprise Box. This is fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Thank you, Fulgent Dawn, for being amazing. Thank you for not becoming money. I would have loved it if you did. Wow, okay. Get destroyed, big man. Absolutely disgusting damage. DP! Oh, it's too late for DP, but it would have been amazing. I really want to get a Dark Paladin run for the final fight, just because it's thematic to have, like, Dark Power versus Dark Power. You know what I mean? It'd be sick. No. A dark version of one of these guys. Plate armor. He's all armored up. Very cool. Unfortunately for you, you are probably like one of the worst enemies <laughs> to be given this dark power because of just how slow and easy to destroy you are. <laughs> Die, sir. <laughs> Yo, Fulgen Dawn? Taking care of the top layers for me? Thank you. Oh, look at him. Clown putting in work already. The clown train is upon us. Hello, everyone. Who's ever existed ever. Jesus. Beautiful damage. I love it. Yep. Fragments. Moving right along. Now, it would be in my better interest to swap out uh, Pike for Water Skull. I could even take unstable. Nah, it's only a common. It's not worth the money gain. Hang on. Okay, so let's take a look at what our options are. <laughs> cavalry? Damn, dude. It's, it, it, it is a little bit too late to worry about cavalry, but it would have been pretty good if I'd, I'd taken that as well. Um, I need, at this point, looking at what I've got, I need Heart of the Ascetic, and I need some more defense. I need, like, uh, Dark Priest Robe. I need something along those lines. I need one of those items. We have Knight's Determination. If I get the Priest's Staff, that's insane for us. So I'm going to pick this up and ditch probably the Priestess's Veil. I could ditch the Carlean Sword, but if I can milk a little bit more money for a little bit more, I will. The Veil, don't get me wrong, the Veil is amazing. It's just that, oh, you know, I might just keep it. It is a good item. No, I'm going to keep it. Let's ditch the standard sword for now. I'll keep the defense. We'll keep the defense. We'll, we'll ditch the sword. It's crazy, I know. We'll ditch it for now. And we'll move on and take... Hopefully... Thief Armor's kind of cute. I had people mentioning that Thief Armor and a lot of those like active items would work really well with the dark power that I had yesterday that did the, uh, the triple slashing, the, the stack building. And I agree. I think it might actually work really well with something like that. So I'm kind of looking forward to trying it out at some point. And just, there's so many new build opportunities presenting themselves to us now. It's pretty hype, dude. Pretty hype indeed. Fulgent Dawn doesn't give a damn. Yeah, Fulgent Dawn doesn't give a damn. Sir, you mind? See, we're doing plenty of damage, even without the extra, like, sword damage and stuff like that. We need to balance. Oh! I'm sorry, ladies. Awfully rude of me, wasn't it? Awfully rude of me. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, ladies. Tr tragedy. <laughs> tragedy in motion right there. Um, oh, there'd be a way to cheese that. There'd so be a way to cheese that right there. How'd you hit the guy above you? The hitbox on that is ridiculous. Think I don't see you there? I know you're there. I saw you there. Oh, no, 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 no. Did he block the fall? He blocked the dawn? How do you block the dawn? Doesn't matter. We got some more uh, some more gold anyway. I need to hopefully get a better quintessence. I'm looking for troll. Uh, troll would be fantastic for something like this. Or even... 
I'm not going to lie, Cyclops. Cyclops and Ogre wouldn't be too bad because I want to balance offense and defense. Maybe not the right skull to balance offense and defense with, but I think Clown does enough damage on his own that he doesn't need the extreme overcompensation of getting some of those big damage builds going. Thank you, ladies. I'm still not exactly used to the fact that their their new attacks are disgustingly fast. I messed that up temporarily. Okay, there we go. It's all good. It's all good. It's fine. It's fine, ma'am. And she's done. Next. If I time this right, we'll get a good damage opener. Now? Ah, uh, kinda. I kinda messed it a little bit. Don't want to mess that up too much. Back and forth. Scary. Very scary. Extremely scary. <laughs> Stop spamming, lady. No third? Okay. Ah, uh, really? That's what hits me? Oh, dear. Making mistakes. I keep thinking she's going to do the, the normal dive that doesn't have the waves. But she is just not doing that anymore, is she? No gold vein? Damn. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is working out okay. This is working out okay. The uh, the Warriors Pauldrons, I need to be more mindful of when the Pauldrons activate because I can use the Pauldrons as free damage mode. Just for those five seconds that's active, I can just stand in harm's way and just face tank some of them. Ooh, gold main is pretty nice. Apparatus. It might be time to start just destroying quintessences, though. I could get money, but unless the items are specifically what I want, I can start destroying quintessences and start boosting the effect of the hand. Although the hand has a maximum stat cap, and if I do find hard the ascetic, I may not need to worry about it. I may not need to worry about it. Although, it'd be kind of good just to get more max life in general. We know what that dad fight's like. I'm just going to do it. I mean, silly, maybe. I'm just going to do it. And now, considering that we're on our way towards Area 3 with the Chimera, is it time to take Kingslayer yet? I don't know. Madman Scream, attack speed increased by 100% and skill cooldown speed decreases. Oh, so just get really fast and have less cooldown. Cool. OCD, boost damage dealt to enemies for 40%. If you do not damage your target 10 times within 4 seconds of the first hit, you will lose 5 life. Oh my god. Oh my god. 10 times in 4 seconds. So this... This would actually unironically pair insanely well with Madman Scream if you just bought both of them. Attack speed boost along with, like, being able to hit them. Oh... I feel like quintessences and secondary effects like spirits and stuff could potentially screw you on this though, because you would need to be like hard targeting a particular enemy very dedicatedly. Yeah. Um, at this point, I might invest in Kingslayer and then wait to pick up either more stacks in Super Baby, because we can get extra 10 and then another 10 after that percent boost. Or do I even need Kingslayer right now? I don't think I do. I think I can just take Super Baby right now, boost that a bit more. Get through Area 3, and then with Area 3's upgrades, I get King Slayer and whatever, maybe like, I don't know, King. What's, what's another one? Weakness Exposure? I could do that. Weakness Exposure is the one that we were talking about before. That could be okay. Weakness Exposure. I wouldn't really need New Beginning. So yeah, probably just do that. So I'll get Super Baby again now. Just for the extra boost in life. We're already at 264. This is good. This is good. Don't have enough fragments yet, though. We need more skull rooms. Oh, skull isn't here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Um, I just realized that some of the NPCs that are in between the rooms aren't all here right now. Kind of sad. New room. Who this? Oh, my God. Do not buff this man. You're crazy. Careful! Careful! Oh! 
I was trying to like not have the tree get hit. I was like, tree, tree, be careful, tree. Oh, it's the Shake Shaker. I love him. The Shake Shaker. You're the best. You're the best, buddy. Even if no one else thinks you're that cool, I think you're that cool. I think you're that guy. All right. I think you're that guy. Give me money. Thank you. He even gave me cash. See, how can he not be that guy if he gave me cash? He turned into a gold vein for me. He's just nice. What's that? Cannoneer? I can destroy the cannon though, right? I feel like I can destroy that. Yeah, the cannon's dead right now, isn't it? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. A lot of bad, a lot of bad, a lot of bad. I need to get rid of this um, water skull in my second slot. Get rid of you because you're going to be annoying. Now, sir. Maybe I can't destroy it. No, I did. The cannon's gone. Good, good. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm sure I killed it last time. I'm going to try and deliberately stagger this out. Because I really want... Oh, we can summon it back. Oh, good for you. Good for you. And your little cannon. Die. <laughs> good for you and your little cannon. Uh, die. No! Do you have any idea how badly I want a prisoner run? Oh, my God. Really? I want that prisoner run something fierce, dude. Okay, we get rid of the water skull. It doesn't really matter. Just about anything is going to guarantee that we get a uh, legendary by the next adventurer fight. So we do this for now, and now I can worry about... Oh, it's only a Hydra. Yeah, nah, it's only a Hydra. We re-roll out. Let me swap to clan real quick. I need to find... what I'm looking for. If I can which I don't think I will. Also, people letting me know that uh, inscriptions like the sun and moon, which obviously aren't here anymore, and masterpiece, the game is now highlighting and showcasing which inscriptions have transformation effects, uh, which is very, very handy, and I'm glad that they've done that so people actually know what's going on. Double Brawl. Antique and Revenge. I've got two in Antique already. It's amazing. They've, they've done a little bit of uh, shuffling around when it comes to some of the inscriptions. Where are my two Antiques coming from? Of course, Hand of Glory and uh, Stone Mask, because it's an antique. That makes sense. I didn't get my Heart of the Ascetic here. I can't reroll anymore. I'll be too broke if I do. Moving on. Let's let's go and get this last skull upgrade that we need. Fulgent Dawn. Oh, it's a party, dude. It's a party over here. It's a party over there. Jesus, there's so much goo on the ground. There's so much goo everywhere. Ew, don't. I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say ew. You're not gross. You're adorable. You're just a little bit sticky, that's all. Ew. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say ew. You're adorable. You're just a little bit sticky, that's all. I said it again. Stop. Stop. Damn, that whip has range. Sir. 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 So, ow, sir. I'm confiscating this. I'm confiscating your whip. Give it to me. Stop it. Stop whipping me. Give me... No. I mean, it's got... Okay, hear me out. Technically, right? It has antique. It has max life on it. If I take it, we get closer to getting antique maxed out. We get more treasure. And that's technically, what, 12%, 12.5% more physical damage because of the 35 life. Hear me out on that, right? And I could replace the Carlane Insignia with it, which is a fantastic idea. I'm so glad I had it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm, I'm sure all of you were sitting here screaming at me. We have a lot of life. My Fulgent Dawn was hiding upstairs. It was actually up inside. Cool. No, stop. Stop it. I need to get rid of this Quintessence. I can't believe I've had Kobold this long. I need to I need to find a replacement for this. Hello, sir. Bye, sir. Look at him buffing up all that sludge. He's animated so well, by the way. I know I said this in the last one, but damn, he looks so good animated. They've really done a good job on these little slimes. Are my knives going over the little ones? Are you, are you doing that? No, little guy, come back. It's dangerous out there. Don't go out there on your own. 
take this dagger in your face. Okay. Oh, it's Archer Girl doing it now. I don't know what she does. Yo, what do Archer Girl do? Is that a, a big wall? It, 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 she's creating a wall? Badass. Damn, these, these guys have more life now. By a noticeable degree. Thank you, Warriors Pauldrons, for, I'm assuming, blocking some of that, because I know I definitely probably didn't dodge very well right there. That's new. Is that a new attack from the, the Mage Lady? That was the Mage Lady doing that, right? The Sorceress? I swear that was her doing that. Thank you, Warriors Pauldrons. I'm meant to be focusing down one, but we're doing a lot of cleave, to be honest. Don't care, sir. Throw your stupid sword. Oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I missed. Silly kobold. Alright, Warriors Pauldrons ran off. We back up for a sec. We pepper him with, with throwing knives from a distance. Yeah. Roll through it. Oh, add him with it. I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay. Very cool arrow, though. Might be a new move in the, the final phase archery fight. I really don't want to say that she's going to get that guaranteed, but kind of suck if she did. Um, Mage's Necklace. I'm so glad that this is a thing now. It just means that there's a more consistent way of getting Mage's Necklace for the skull only runs. I need to do a skull boy run. Uh, I don't want any of these. I'm going to just leave them behind. I'm not going to leave those behind, though. Waste not, what not. We need to, we need to get the big sippies. Now, thankfully, they did give us a Frost Skull, so I can take this, destroy it, keep Predator. I may not even use Predator, but I'm going to just walk out and leave this stuff where it is. I get extra money because those guys dropped items, so even though I didn't destroy the item in that selection right there, I get money from the Mage's Necklace and from the, the Hero's Sword. Fantastic, right? So I actually get a little bit more cash. Now, the hunt is on. I need to make sure I take nothing but item rooms. I need to get Heart of the Ascetic, right? Heart of the Ascetic. Heart of the ascetic. And money. Money for me. Money for the clown. Which is a mistake. You shouldn't give this clown money. But thank you for doing so anyway. Nice. He became a gold vein. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need all the money I can get. <gasps> Dark Priest Robe. Dark Priest Robe. Dark, Dark, Dark Priest Robe. Dark Priest Robe. I'm going to get to Relic as well. This is amazing. Fantastic. I'm getting rid of the... See, I really want to keep the standard issue Kalean armor. I'm going to have to get rid of the, the incense. Ah, oh, damn, dude. I'm going to have to get rid of a few things. The incense has to go, and probably this. Wait, I don't need the mask. The mask has, what, one antique on it, and that's it? The mask isn't doing as much as the gold incense is. Because the gold incense is still giving me, like, it's actually giving me a small damage boost, whereas the mask is just a lot of gold. But I might need that lot of gold. I don't need that lot of gold anymore. I'm getting rid of the mask. I know people are going to be screaming at me, Bills! Why? Wait, first time seeing this, this room again. Can I fall down? I can fall down still. Okay, we'll go down. Hello. They put a broker down here now. Face tanking. I've got Warriors Pauldrons in front of me. Hello! Where are the other dudes at? Thank you. It's lonely in here. Oh, much better. Thank you. Oh, now it's a party. Oh, he's spitting little dudes down at me. Oh, that's mean. Fulgent Dawn, that was mean. That was uncalled for. Ugh. I l dude, even there, at, like, the goo on the ground. Why is it all so well animated? I can't believe this is free, by the way. Southpaw, I know you guys are amazing, and I know it's just you guys being awesome, but you could charge money for some DLC. I'm just saying, like, like this is an incredibly good update with a lot of love and care put into this, and they're not charging a cent. This is just going to be an update. It's it's incredible. This could be paid DLC, and I would, I would love it either way. Um, no. 
No, sorry. Some of that is really good, but no, not right now. Now we've got over 10,000. Ooh. Ooh, Medusa for the stun. Medusa for the stun. I'm taking it now for the stun. We can destroy this. A little bit more life. That's what, 2% damage from destroying that? It's building, all right? Shut up, it's building. We need... No. Oh, damn, dude. Gunpowder Sword is an incredible damage boost. And we have 25% crit rate, so that it would count. One in four hitting, and we throw a lot of damage out there. That's pretty good. I could ditch... The Veil? I could ditch the Veil. Because I'm trying to pick out the two items that I'm going to be getting rid of when I find Heart of the Ascetic as well. If I find Heart of the Ascetic. So the Veil goes and this goes. Which means I lose Antique. Which means I lose... I'm going to lose 70 max life when I get rid of that. Oh, maybe I don't want to get rid of this. But then again, what else do I what do I get rid of? I can't get rid of. Yeah, no, I have to I have to just bite the bullet. Maybe I get rid of fortress and I get rid of this 15% damage reduction cuz max life is life and damage. That's that's the best of both worlds. Whereas this is just 15% less damage taken. And I have 3 in fortress. Yeah, okay. We'll get rid of the armor and we'll get rid of the veil. So, I'm going to start by getting rid of the armor. No. It's good, but no. It's it's good, but no. They're all good, but they're not hard of the ascetic. It's good, but it's not hard of the ascetic. They're, they're lovely, but they're not hard of the ascetic. Damn it. Give me hard of the ascetic. The one time I need to see this thing, and it's not going to show up. I see it all the time. So much so it's become a channel catchphrase at this point. I don't understand. Oh, he's about to hulk out. Get me up here. I don't want to be down there. I don't want to be... Yeah, I don't... Wow! <laughs> I don't want to be down there when that's going off. These guys have been whipped into a frenzy. By you, you cheeky son of a bitch. Die. He's whipping. He's whipping. Money, move on. Money, move on. Damn, he died fast. He died like he lived. Whipping. Plate armor milkshake man? That's friggin' adorable, dude. Now, I am aware that Medusa's not doing physical damage. People are gonna be all like, But Bills, Medusa doesn't do physical. It's purely for the stun, right? Stuns and CCs, I feel, have a really good place in hard mode in order to slow down some of the big enemy attacks, slow down the final hero fight. There's a lot that they can do, right? And I feel like it's just a good idea to have some CC in the build. Increase crit rate. Thank you for that. Wow, that's a huge crit rate increase. So 40%. I'm really glad I picked up Gunpowder Sword now. All the naysayers who were saying you don't need it. Now where are you? Ha 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 ha. I'll be waiting this to naysay when I lose. If I, if I lose, I'm not going to lose. Heart of the Ascetic! It's Heart of the Ascetic! Yes! Okay. Uh, small meltdown uh, aside. It does have Relic on it, so I could... Yeah, I said I was going to get rid of Priestess Veil, so I get to keep my Relic. Gnarly. Nah, it feels weird keeping Gold Incense Burner for Antique and uh, Max Life, but uh, screw it. I'll do it. Okay, so the build feels almost complete. I tell you what, I will get rid of Gold Incense Burner if I can find the Priest's Staff. So we can get the trifecta synergy between the Knights, the Priest Robe, and the and the Priest Staff. Think about it, like, Tank, Mage, Warlock, and Healer for the Priest Staff up here. Be great, right? Be great. Almost at a full revenge build. Hmm. Okay, so at 520 max life. <laughs> we have... Just a little bit going for us, right? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So the, I, I keep pausing it. I'm sorry. The Hand of Glory gives me 4% per 10 max life. At 520, it's it's what? 52, effectively? Um, in, insane? Per 10, so 52 stacks. So this thing at 30 is maxed. So 52 stacks of 4% is kind of... I could be mathing really wrong there, but... That sounds obscene. 
That sounds... Is that right? All I need now is little slime boy to double my hand to glory and we're in business. Throw damage. Oh, look at all those numbers, dude. My favorite. Lots of numbers. Yo, that poison sludge right in front of you. Rude. Can we get rid of that? That's new. Can we get rid of that, please? Yo, I just saw life orbs being dropped right there. These guys drop health now? Gnarly. Now, can I do this? You can still dodge through the whole thing. Oh, that's excellent. I did it wrong! Ah! I fired my Medusa to the left instead of to the right. I messed up. I don't know how I did that. Doesn't matter. We're fine. All right. It's going to give me life. <gasps> oh, dude. Kyrian would be phenomenal. But no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. What am I after? Priests. See, hear me out. I could get rid of the gold incense burner. I don't need this much max life, do I? I don't need this much max life anymore. Because I got Heart of the Ascetic. Before it was because I was worried I'd lose Heart of the Ascetic and I wouldn't be able to get my max life high enough to benefit from the Hand of Glory. But we have the Hand of Glory combo, so I could take this now. Let's pick this up real quick. So nothing else here. I mean, the Hunter's Wooden Longbow is pretty nice, but it's Kyrian, dude. I should... I'll lose... Let me just take a look here. It's still at 30. The Hand doesn't change. The Hand doesn't change. I don't need all that money anymore. It's not doing anything else for me. We get rid of it. We move on. We did have a stupidly high amount of health for a second there, though. Like, be real. That was that was amazing. Uh, another new... Bone, bone Shield. Lose one bone fragment for every four damage received upon being hit to nullify the damage? So every four damage, we lose a fragment. So if I got hit for 20 damage, I'd lose five fragments. What if I just take... Dude, this is a defensive dream. What if I just took Skull Rooms from here out? Because I'm more or less done. The build is more or less done. I could take Skull Rooms in the final act, build up my fragment base, and it only costs one, so I can get Bone Shield and Kingslayer. And then in the final room, I, after I get the next two, I get the 45% health boost from, from Super Baby. If I want to, just because, you know, I'm stupid. Or I can dump it in one of these other ones. Like Hard Shell, maybe, or something like that. Okay, okay, I like it. I like where this is going. So I take Skull Rooms. Skull Rooms. We're not done with the Skull Rooms. I might even destroy Predator to get extra bones if I only get a rare or something like that. It's it's progressing, dude. The build is working. It's progressing. It's going okay. I'm still not opposed to getting rid of Medusa if something particularly nice comes along. Nope. I'm taking Skull Rooms. I'm taking Skull Rooms late game when I don't even need Skull Rooms. That's how amazing this has become. Damn. Fulgent Dawn really out here being a menace. Oh god, how much worse does this get? Oh, it's actually not that bad. That was actually fine. I'd rather that than the other one. No, don't, don't. Just appearing out of nowhere doing your nasty stuff. Have those statues changed? They actually shake and vibrate now. They never used to do that, did they? And then... One of you? <laughs> Welcome to the pains... The pain, pain train, dude. Just... Oh, shit. Oh, that was a bad dodge. I should have alternated and gone right, left. Doesn't matter. We get rid of the effect. Hello, Dark Knight. Um... Oh, I'm gonna activate that once I'm done with the room. Oh, it's 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 guts, it's guts. Maybe shouldn't have wasted the Medusa on that, but I did it anyway. People are pointing out that it's basically guts because he has a uh, the crossbow, the sword slash, which is a bait that I just fell for. When he jumps back with the crossbow slash, do not move forward because he's gonna land with a slash. He's baiting you to dodge in. Thank you for the armor, big man. And I I fell for it like a goon. Okay, um, hear me out. We swap to Predator, we get rid of Predator, we go back to Clown, just to get extra fragments, right? It's just to get extra fragments. And because I got hit a bunch in that room, we lost the fragments that we started with. We had like three fragments to begin with, right? So I need to try and do this smart and not get hit too much between now and the final fight. Oh, I'm losing fragments. So I can preserve fragments. Otherwise, this, this effect is going to be potentially mostly wasted. 
and I'll mostly just get fragments in the final room, the final shop, and then just don't get hit by statues. Either way, we'll have a little bit of hit deterrence, right? We'll be able to sustain ourselves. All right, hear me out. We get rid of Warrior, we take Rockstar, and we will then dismantle Rockstar for bigger, better, badder effects. Don't need the money as much anymore, which means we can just take Arc Demon and destroy it for a max life boost. Um, you might think this is redundant, but the more max life we have, the more current life we get. So I'm sitting at, what, 211 right now? If I take this, I will benefit. See? 231. I still benefit. My, my max life is effectively 231, right? This is fine. This is fine. Do I lose? I'm losing fragments before I lose armor, though. Which might be a good thing. Might be a bad thing. Might be a good thing. We don't know. What effect do I get? Magic damage? Don't care. Am I looking at food when it comes to the effect that I would get? Is there anything else? The priest staff. Right, priest staff. Priest staff. We gun for priest staff. I don't know what I'd even replace anymore. Actually, I don't think I do need the priest staff. I don't know what I can get rid of. Damn, because I like all of these. And I need the crit. I could ditch this. It's 15% crit. The attack and movement speed is really nice, though, but I guess... It would depend. It would depend if I even see it, because if I see it, it's a really good effect. Skull Room. All right, we've got to be smart. Play smart. Oh my god, dude. Fulgent Dawn, you're scaring me here. I, I can't see anything on my screen when you do that. Yep. Yep. It's funny, now that I don't want to get hit and lose my, my fragments, I am playing ultra concerned super duper scared because i don't want to lose fragments <laughs> yeah was that a statue room i see oh berserker okay like i said we get rid of the rock star no skull room sadly but i can come in here and we can do the rar to get the attack speed boost no don't hit me don't hit me dude thank you Die. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's quiet. Too quiet. Fulgent Dawn. Thank you very much. Alright, we're gonna stun. Beautiful. Look how good Medusa is. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Okay, I've got two rares and a unique here, alright? I'm going to test something because I haven't had the chance to really t pay attention to this and notice. The rares sell for 422, the unique sells for 560, so I should either get to about, you know, 450 or so roughly, 4, 480, 448, whatever, or I go above 3, 3,500. What does it default sell? It doesn't sell the most expensive one by default, just picks one at random. Okay, note to everyone, especially myself, don't. Um, manually sell when it offers you different rarities. Just do it. Just manually sell. Stun you. That effect goes off even if he's stunned. Good to know. Not dealing with that right now. No. I've got cannons coming at me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I don't need to be this pedantic normally, but I really want to preserve fragments. I don't want to lose any right now. I want to see if this works as well as I'm hoping it will. Fantastic. Yo, I forgot about these guys. Damn, they just go. Uh, 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 amen, 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 they say. Uh, right, once again, they're all uniques though, so we get, okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sorry I'm being, uh, uh, I'm being more, no, no, I'm being more focused than usual. You dirty skeleton, better stay put. I'll finish you with one shot. You, you probably will, to be honest. I hate fighting you. All right, the stun, the setup. Can't see a damn thing. Is she shooting an extra arrow in that attack now? I think it was two before, right? Is that three? Lady. 
You have never seen Beals try so hard to not get hit by an attack. <laughs> I'm trying. So, oh, she still fired it. All right, the shield is in front. We can just we can just bully. The shield is gone. God, this sucks. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The staggered uh, dashes again. Die, die. Fantastic, fantastic. No healing. Not that I need it, but still. Okay, absolutely brutal, but but amazing. I'm I'm considering just getting more because I don't need more life. I don't need more life. I don't need money. I just need fragments. So I should, I should ditch Berserker. I'm sorry, Berserker. I, I need to do this though. We ditch Berserker. We get more fragments. I'm at 55 fragments now. Now what is it? For every four damage, I lose one. No, for every yeah four one fragment stops four damage. So I can block over 200 damage effectively? Holy shit. That's amazing. That's phenomenal, dude. Better yet, I'll go back to the 90s. That's more phenomenal, bro. Damn. Damn. Oh, there's a special dude just here. I was wondering where he is. I'm like, where are you? And it's a candle throwing, bro. That's cruel. Yeah, I'm shooting you in the armor. I'm going to break your plated armor. Wait, what is it called? Cats, cats, schist? Cats, schist? Be honest, dude. I've never... I had no idea you actually had a name. I just assumed you were called asshole. Because <laughs> that's what you are. Oh my god, I'm... Sc Ooh. Yo, you can boingy back? Sick. Oh, this room sucks, bruh. It's this room, the farming room. Please die. The farming room got worse by a large margin. Oh, the bell ringer boys are back. Cool. Good to see that some things haven't changed. That's a mistake. Stop throwing those at me, bro. I can't see the candle dudes if they're throwing still or not. Excellent. Yeah, that's fine. We can dodge through that. No, have that. I don't like you. Go away. Get rid of the debuff. Moving on. Grab the max life. or oh, the life booster. We don't need it. He's back! I don't need you anymore, though. Get, get gone. Oh, that's bait. That's, yeah, look at it, look at it. There's one little dude hiding in there. Nah, man, humongous bait. Speaking of humongous, had to discern what direction he was gonna swing in. You suck, dude. Oh, the arrow? Yo, the, the arrow's coming from off screen. Cruel. Cruel and unusual. All right, where's he, where's he coming? From the front, dude, I've got a shield on. Oh, he's so fast. He's way faster now than he used to be. Little halfling girl, I am i don't need the healing, but I will take it anyway because you are lovely. And oh, look at that. She gave me the 60% Inferno flower. Our life is looking very full temporarily. Um, they're unique, so I can just walk out and not give a damn. Ninja doesn't matter. Actually, it does matter. If I can get rid of Warrior, I can get more fragments by getting rid of Ninja later. What an interesting way to play right now. Me trying to get fragments to make myself more tanky by the end. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, we, we rotate this around and destroy this to get the max life boost. And it doesn't really matter. Yeah. We'll take more fragments, please. This is ridiculous. Oh, look. I could get a... Uh... I should go down and take a look and see if it's any harder. Yeah, okay. I don't think I've seen any of the special rooms really in that first run. So I don't know if they've made these more or less difficult as a way of compensation. I don't know. So we'll take it. We'll take a peek. We'll take a peeky peek. We'll do the sneaky sneaks. What? <laughs> they turn faster. Are they turning more or is it just me? 
Might just be me. There is a chest over there, though, that I want to go and get. Bit of gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is this the last one? No. I was going to say, I've not completed this that quickly. Impossible. Impossible. Improbable. Unrealistic. Aw, oh, lame. Uh, I should not trigger them. Wait. Greed. Ah, oh, just a little bit of money. It's too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> you can't stop me. He saw me. I was like, oh no, they saw me. Uh, if I walk away, will this auto destroy? I don't want to risk it. I should test it, but I don't want to test it. I want to just take it. 253, 507 max life would have been higher if I hadn't. Oh my god. Yar, the Davy Jones is here to give me his bones to ensure that I block all the damage. So at 121 bones, wait, wait, wait. At 121 bones, one fragment for every four damage received. I'm blocking over 400 damage, supposedly? I must be getting this wrong. I must be understanding this wrong. There's no way that I'm blocking that much damage. I'm unkillable. If that's the case. Well, virtually unkillable. There, There is an error here. There's no way. This is just the best thing to take in the world, then. A skull-only run with this effect. Wow! No. Would be considered busted. There's no conceivable way. Inconceivable! Improbable! Not realistic! And I've still got armor from the, the, the knight's drink that he gave me. So I don't know what's... I think the, the skull fragments are getting knocked out first, right? I'm on 121. I need to keep an eye on that. Oh, we're just going over now? We're just, we're just going over? The mortifier, though. Oh, dear. Oh, that was fast. Oh, yo, the Fulgen Dawn proc? <laughs> You walked into a bad spot, dude. Can you shut up and stop doing that? Yeah, jump up into my fireworks. Do it. Okay, try not to take too much damage in here. Um, we are guaranteed that in the final shop, whatever skull it gives us, it doesn't matter. We can destroy a ninja if we need to and get the 23 extra fragments from him. There's no way I'm blocking over 400 damage with this. There's no way. There's no way. There's no, there's no way. We'll see, we'll see. In the hero fight, if I take no damage whatsoever, we'll know. Because otherwise, we will have categorically determined what the most busted defensive thing that you can take in the game is. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm over here. Thank you, Fulgen Dawn. Oh, he hit me with the thing. Oh, of course you would. Of course you would, ma'am. I do like that they're doing this. It makes you alternate between left and right just to try and give you, like, you know, a different way of going about it, I guess. No, I'm destroying you. Getting a little tight in here. Thank you. Balls. Balls. Dodging the balls. And she's done. Okay, good. I've lost a fragment. I got hit by something. So I'm preserving armor first. Uh, uh, I use I use fragments first. Fascinating. So my armor just won't get touched initially? Very cool. Oh, 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 you're burning the platforms. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm on 119, I've taken a bit more damage. I was just nervous about backflipping into the attack. No. 
die. Okay, we, only, we lost two bone fragments in the entire fight. And I still have 54 shield. Dude, what is this game? <laughs> what is this game? Uh, You know what? More max life. Who cares? Just give it to me. G g g give, give it give it to me. Give it. I want it. Uh, up he goes. Flying into the sky. Hello, sir. I have two more things to spend. I don't know what to get. Shyness. When there's only one enemy nearby, damage dealt to that enemy is amplified by 40%. If there are two or more enemies nearby, the enemy's attack power is increased by 50%. So shyness is great for the hero fight because there's only him coming up. <laughs> there's only him, except all those statues are going to get a big boost. I could jump around a lot more. So, or I could just get more max. I don't need the max life right now. That's just, it'd be funny, but I don't need it. I could take shyness or... Um, incoming damage is decreased, and physical attack and magic attack is increased. This effect increases by five times for three seconds. Upon being hit. So I could reduce 6% damage taken, 12% more damage. Nah. Dashing, that's pretty good. Damage dealt to nearby enemies. Eh. Eh. There's the weakness exposure, which would be really good for my, my clown box, actually. It would be really good for that. Damn, I don't need... Okay. I'm thinking I just take Shyness so I get 40% amp damage on him. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Give me the Shyness. I'm a shy clown. I'm just a bashful little clown boy. I'm shy. So that's why he's a mime. He doesn't talk. Get it? Get it? It all makes sense now. Oh, is that the empowered effect? Wait, that was just glowing. Wait a minute. Okay, he's not glowing. They glow! Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, that's good to know, I guess. Oh, that's scary. Oh, shit, scary, scary, scary. Do not get hit by them. That would be the ultimate of embarrassment. They hit me and I just lose like 50 fragments at once and you just... The ultimate scared face. <gasps> the priest staff is here. I don't think I need it. Honestly, I don't. I don't need it. I've been putting up a big stink about getting it, but at this point, if I'm truly blocking over 400 damage... One fragment for every four received. Over 400 damage. Over 400 and... Like, 480 damage, almost. Wait, what? No, wait. I've been saying this wrong. It's one fragment... is four damage. No. Wait... It's the children who are wrong. Wait, what? There's so much damage being negated here, dude. What? Give me the max life. That doesn't matter to me. I don't care. Bruh. It's so much damage. Wait for it. Wait for it. Fulgent Dawn. I'm, I'm wrapping my head around this, dude. And in, in my head, I keep I keep going over the numbers in my head, and it's like, there's no way it actually means that. Does it actually mean that? Because I'm, I'm assuming there's a translation error. There has to be. It's not actually doing that. Oh, Kyrian finally active. What? It's taken this... Tr okay, true, I guess. I didn't farm or do anything like that. I actually forgot I had Kyrian. If you can believe it, I forgot I even had it. Scary. Very scary. But we did it! And I didn't do the skull breaking thing! I'm an idiot, I could have had more bones. I was distracted, I was too busy thinking about... Who cares? Who cares? Here's the breakdown, here's the numbers for those who care. Got a lot of crit, a lot of life. Uh, haven't even achieved maximum in any of our inscriptions. Super Baby 2. Don't even think that's needed at this point. Bone Shield. Uh, potentially broken. Kingslayer. Amazing. Uh, borderline mandatory if you're having a hard time on bosses like I am for this fight. And Shyness, which might be the best thing for just killing Dad. Because damage is getting a 40% amp. That's like courage. That's like wisdom. It's an amp effect. I love this intro, though. Wait, that's a new intro. He arrives differently? 
He was floating in the air last time. You pissed? You pissed? You should be. You pissed? No, don't. Have this. I don't want you to get too close. You scare me. You scare me, daddy Oh, You scare me. Ah, forget it. Who are we scared of? This guy? This guy's a... He's, he's nothing. He's, he's a robe. He's an idiot. He's a moron. He's a dumbass. He's a dickhead. Uh. He's a dickhead. Uh. We don't care. He's not touched me once, apparently. Unless there's something screwy. That's impossible. He's hit me once. I know he has. Flash dash, flash dash, flash dash. The lightning on the ground in the corner now, trying to uh, hit me. I like the effect. I like how they've boosted this. Get stunned. Dumbass. I love this effect, by the way. Oh, it's so cool. What a fight. Beast. He can be stunned. He can be. I wasn't sure if he could even be stunned or not. Yep. 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 You're not so bad. You're not so bad. I'm figuring it. I'm getting. Dude, I'm getting hit. I'm losing fragments instead. I'm on 110 fragments. He's going to pull that up. Yep. And then he pulls it out. Oh, he's so sick. He's like he's like a combination of like like fiction's greatest badasses, right? He's got a little bit of guts in him. He's got a little bit of Artorius in him. Like like the fact that he's like all dark and stuff and he roars and shit. Like that's totally Artorius. Oh, that's such a cool combo. Stunning him into that big effect. Dodge through it. I'm on 103 fragments. We are getting hit. But I'm, I'm using this as an opportunity to watch his attacks and see what he does. So that's always a double. So maybe that's a punishment for going in the air because if he hits the... Gr he's, he's fallen through the platform. If he hits the ground... Holy crap, dude. There's the suck. He's healing. You bastard. That's so fast. Maybe I shouldn't use this as a chance to test what he does. I'm down to 88. Whoa. The DP slashes. Badass. Haven't seen that one before. Sick. I'm seeing what he does do. This is badass. Then he pulls it out. He always rips it out. If he ever puts it in the ground, he rips it out afterwards. Like, every time. Yeah! That's a punishment for going in the... Oh, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing. It's a... Sir? Yep. We saw this one last time. Yep. Oh, I, I, I jumped too early. That's going to be hard for power skulls to avoid, dude. I think I got pulled to the corner right there. Yeah, I'm kind of using this as a chance to watch what he does. Whoa! That looked sick, yo, Kingslayer. Okay, did it slow down because of Kingslayer? Did it slow down because of what he was doing? No, I was learning. So I went down to 76. I had like 119 fragments. So, what is that? 43 fragments lost? 43 fragments lost? You can't be serious. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's no way. Was I on 119? 
I was. I was on 119, right? Hang on, let me quickly... So wait, at 43 fragments lost, he did 172 damage to me? That we blocked? That's pretty good. That means that in that fight, I still lost my first life. I only had 150 total. And that's through things like, like the Warrior's Pauldrons. But you have to bear in mind, he didn't even knock out half of our bone fragments. He would have had to knock out the rest of those fragments and knock out my 54 shield and the 268 life through the fact that we've got Knight's Termination and the Dark Priest are able to give us an extra shield when low on life. And the second life bar. Okay, okay, the bone fragment thing is kind of nuts. That's kind of... That's technically hitless, right? Technically. Huh? Damage received 343. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of damage taken. That's I died at least twice. <laughs> Still. Um, that's kind of crazy. That's... That's not okay. <laughs> I want to do a skull only run where I just take skull rooms just to see how many fragments I can get. Get the get the uh, the harpy lady to show up at the same time. Just take every skull room, just get to 300 fragments and then stand there defiantly against dad and be like, what? What? Try me. Try me. What? What of it? So now I come over here and I can give him. Oh, it's just automatic. Cool. I need to talk to him so I can. I can now do difficulty level two. Oh, oh, she's doing something different now. Oh, there's something new. This time it's something long. It looks hideous. Uh, that's what she said. I'm sorry. It sort of looks religious and hmm. Okay, what are they adding now? What else could there be? It's responding to you again. It seems to be calling some sort of ominous power. There's a terrifying energy building up. It's a bad sign. I'll call this one the Omen Amplifier. It doesn't seem to be demon magic. I don't understand. The treasure chests that appear as map rewards may turn into ominous treasure chests. What does that mean? What does that mean? In any case, guys, it's time to wrap this one up. I hope it hasn't been as long as the first one, but I did stop and kind of, you know, dilly-dally a little bit with the hero fight and some other areas just to mess with some of those new dark powers. They are incredibly strong, um, especially that bone one. That bone one might need a little bit of adjusting so that you lose maybe more fragments per damage. I mean, I think it'd be okay even if it was a one-to-one. -one. Like, one damage is one fragment. Like, one-to-four is... Very Maybe, maybe like one to two, just to still keep it very good, you know? I don't know. I don't know how rare it is to find. Maybe it's really rare. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed another hard mode skull run. And I will see you all next time. Have a good one.